in this day and age, in this culture, everything's really fast, right? Scroll, 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 scroll. And there's very few things that get you to stop. We all wait in life for things to get easier. It will never get easier. What happens is you handle hard better. If you woke up every day and you read a letter from someone telling you how they were handling hard better, it's like the greatest thing to wake up to every day. Those stories keep me inspired and keep me motivated. The joy and the excitement and the happiness that people express when they've overcome those things, when they've learned to handle hard better. Because if you have a meaningful pursuit in life, it will never be easy. Mm. I think handle hard better, I mean, honestly, I think it encapsulates my entire journey. Kara Lawson played youth football growing up in Alexandria, Virginia, shrugging off the fact she was the only girl on her team. She thrives on learning the basics and the fundamentals, and that's the key. She switched gears to basketball and won the Naismith High School Player of the Year Award in 1999, choosing to play for the late Pat Summit at Tennessee. Here comes Lawson. Basket and the foul! She says not only to get coached hard, take a different attitude out on the court, but to take all the lessons she would learn and become a coach herself. Match up, kick her out, get up and pressure. Don't back up, you get up. When Duke hired her in 2020, Lawson had already learned how to handle plenty of hard, including the deaths of Summit and her father, William, her two biggest mentors. They're waiting for the easy bus to come around. Easy bus never comes around. Got to handle hard. I talk to my players every day. The separator is, is here. It's here. To be a great player, that's the separator. I don't write anything down ever. <laughs> um, I just talk. And whatever comes out of my brain or my heart, that's what I say. It was the off season. We had just welcomed a new class of freshmen to our team. It wasn't a thing or a concept. I was just talking to one of my freshmen about, in the beginning, it's really challenging when you make the jump from high school to college. And I sensed that she was waiting to get through the first couple of weeks that are gonna be rough, and then feeling like it would eventually relent. And kind of the light bulb goes off in my head that this would be a conversation for our whole team, not just her. One of the things we talked about was um, how we all wait in life for things to get easier. It will never get easier. What happens is you handle hard better. And the second we see you handling... A member of Duke's video staff posted the two minute and 49 second message on social media. At the end of the day, I looked at my phone and I was blown away. The message went viral, resonating not only with athletes and coaches, but people from all walks of life. Most people think that it, it's going to get easier. Life is going to get easier. School's going to get easier. It never gets easier. What happens is you become someone that handles hard stuff better. So that's a mental shift that has to occur in each of your brains. It has to. Because if you go around waiting for stuff to get easier in life, it's never going to happen. I don't even know where Handle Hard Better came from, to be honest with you. It wasn't even like a thing. It wasn't a phrase. Like, I just talked, and then people saw the video, and people, like, made it a thing. Like, took that phrase out of the speech. Lawson has received thousands of social media messages, emails, and handwritten notes from all over the world. From teachers and doctors, CEOs, and parents. All of them with the same underlying message. Thank you. This one's from Texas. This one is from Brazil. This is um, a trainer for a women's hockey team in Canada. You know, people dealing with sickness, people dealing with grief, people dealing with just adversity. I met Sharon walking on campus and she um, sent me a note after we met. My name is Sharon Thompson. I'm from North Carolina. At the time that we heard her message, 
My husband was battling cancer and we thought about, wow, how relevant this is for us. My husband passed away in December of 2022. And I think when those hard days come, I will continue to remember this message. But this is one of my favorite ones. This one, he was in the military 34 years, Navy and the Air Force. I'm Craig Drescher. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. I served in the 908th Airlift Wing at Maxwell Air Force Base. Was the commander for more than four years. And I thought, I, I'm going to use this video as a leadership lesson. I wasn't the only one in the room that saw the parallels to the hard things we were dealing with in our wing. When I retired, I, I received a going away gift from the operations group. And they used uh, one of the key phrases in their message. We all wait in life for things to get easier. It will never get easier. What happens is you handle hard better. So make yourself a person that handles hard well. Kara Lawson. Yes, this one, um, I remember in Texas, amazing story. My name is Jason Davis. I'm from Sour Lake, Texas. Uh, I had to give up my dream of playing college basketball because I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer at 19 years old. I was actually put on a, a two-year chemotherapy and immunotherapy trial. When is it gonna be easy for me? Oh, it's easy for other people. It's not. I fell in love with the speech the first time I heard it because I felt it resonated so much with my story. And that message really helped me uh, have a better perspective on the whole thing, especially during treatment. On the day that I rang the bell to finish treatment, I wore the Handle Hard Better t-shirt. Okay, so don't get discouraged through this time. If it's hard, don't get discouraged. It's supposed to be. So make yourself someone that handles hard well. And then whatever comes at you, you're gonna be great.